invested $42.62. What did I get from this? Let's find out. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sunny Las Vegas. I'm a treasure hunter. I look for items that I could resell to make a living. I got a lot for you. Stay tuned. Orange is still color of day. Oh, and already I see some blank shirts. Tullix. I wonder how much these are retail. Probably four or five dollars. Got some jerseys here. Gap. Oak Hill. 22. Anthony. Who is this? $14.99. Usually they have this stuff in the sports section. But the sewing looks a little off on this one. And if it is Jordan, they would not have this like that. So gonna I'm saying these are knockoffs. Looking into jackets. I know what you're probably thinking. It's too hot for jackets, but jackets sell year round. And Seagull. That's all. Company. Getting closer to one. I seen the logo just now. Total rewards. Some of the casino giveaway shirts, uh, apparel, merchandise can be worth money. So if you have memberships at casinos like that and you happen to make it, go get that stuff because people be buy that up too. And if you come across vintage casino giveaways, especially jackets, keep an eye out on those, the satin jackets especially. Now this is one Mountain Hardware, a really, really good brand. And this is actually a decent price, $15. I'm gonna look more into it but I think this could get probably around 60. I haven't sold any in a while, but this is a really nice color block. And I've sold some for $80, sold some pants for 60, t-shirts for 15. So this is definitely a good brand. Sometimes you'll see this written out or you just might end up seeing that little bolt right there. So one thing about this, you do want to check everything in the zipper works. There's any rips, inside pockets, for concealment. <clears throat> Elastics, nice and stretchy, no dry rot. It's really important that you take the time to look at everything. And no matter how much times you preach it, oh look, Gore-Tex as well. That's a, I think that brings in some even more value to this. Yeah, we're gonna put this in the cart, folks. Really good brand. Look at this. This seems like it's probably like 60s, 70s. Has a chain stitch embroidery, which is rare that I've come across, but I could tell the difference. It, it not fell M&M, that's cute. And then they do want $12 for this, $13, $12.99. Look at this tag, American characters, Walt Disney, 100% acrylic and this is a petite women's or kids. This right here, folks, is probably gonna end up selling for around $70. Minimum $50. This is awesome, I'm gonna get this. $12 is not something I was looking at spending on here, but this is really good condition. No ringing around the neck, no hose, no mop, pukas, no staining. This is, this is perfect. I'm taking that. Wow look look at this folks Woo. this is pretty awesome look at this cat dollar nine. if only the arms move dollar 99 i really like this i think i'm gonna get this natural wooders natural wonders oops fremont california made in usa this is cool. I'm gonna scoop this up. Uh, something had to have been pinned inside here for these little clips. Very old school, $1.99 as well. I wonder what this maker's mark is right here. I don't know it. And I can't really read it either. It's hard to see the image. There has to have been like some kind of white backing for it to just stand out even more. And then this right here, look at this, look at this piece. I wonder how much this, I wonder how much this is going for, $20.
I have sold a piece like this, a little different, a little lower for $130 on eBay, but it had the sticker to what it was. It was a Mexican hand-blown glass. And this one, I have no idea what it is, but is it worth $20? I wasn't even looking at spending $20, but I already have more than that here. So if this is it, this might be the end of my shopping spree. Let's look some images up on this one. This one isn't as valuable as I thought it would be. People have sold them for $15 to $20. And that's not enough. There's no profit to be made. But this is a beautiful piece. And if I was a collector here, I would have picked it up. But I am not a collector. Not like that. But it's very beautiful. But I am picking this up for $1.99. These are pretty cool. 2013 Superman, Wonder Woman. Kind of another Marvel character that's out here. I guess that's Thor. For $3.99? That's actually not bad. These could probably sell for around $4 a piece. So I'll get my money back fast. It's not a, a big item to sell, but as in a lot like this, I think I think that's the ideal thing. It's gonna be easier to list. For a majority of the Superman, that's one listing and you just change the quantity on eBay or whatever platform you're using. So, look at this. Look at this here. One of the employees just put this down. Mopar, Dodge City of McKinney. This is an advertisement piece. Keep away from fire. Definitely don't want in your fire. This is wood. How much do they want for this? $7.99? There's also something to this right here. Well, flat doesn't go up on that, folks. Oh, look at this. Is this vintage or made to look vintage? Any signatures? Any tags? $9.99. That's quite a bit of uh, vintage stuff in here. I'm always intrigued by the ice chests I come across, and this is probably one of more of the fancier ones. A lot of surface scratchers, but not a big deal. Stainless steel. Got the gold trimming, glass top. Very MCM, but that mold, not for me. I'm not messing with that at all. Recently at a garage sale or a yard sale, I ended up coming across some Kenner dolls, and I started doing some more research on them. And I found these, not only online, but in person just a few days after pretty cool what you learn and come across i got a lot of comments about them and taught me a lot of things more than a thing or two so for these they are brand new they got a little bit of lint going on where they're just ruffling around being pushed but for 2.99 these suckers right here come in a set i think more go to this so when i see one or two of one item especially valuable items I'll search around for more because you never know. You never know if there's going to be more just around the corner on another rack, just like this one. So now that makes three. And right next to it is number four. So now this makes, I believe, a complete set, which is cool. My voice is making a comeback. So prepare to see these on whatnot. This is a big one. Oh, it's brand new. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Hmm? 
I think it's worth it. Yeah. Brand new too. Yeah, brand new. Surprised by that. Take a look at it. Hollywood tour. It might. I'm not sure if the cover is the right name, but yeah, X2. What'd you find on it? Yeah, I bet it's worth it. I just don't play golf like that. Down to 34, up to 100. Yeah. Yeah, easy hundred. Yeah, I wonder what they sell for. 49.99. Is that what it was? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, this. Not, no, no, yeah, in here. 50, 85, uh, 59. Not bad for a bargain buy. You get some of your money back. Yeah. Not all of it. I need more. <laughs> I'm bring to your attention. Here you go. This is a red tape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for looking it up, though. How do you feel about that golf club? Uh, yes not for no? me. Okay. If it was uh, $15, yeah. yeah. But thank you for letting me see it. $45.92? Oh. $42.62. Right? Alrighty. Mm. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So what are you going to do this summer? You going to hang around? Uh, exercise. A lot. I'm with you. Probably eat just as much. <laughs> you know what? I forgot that in there. It's okay. Somebody else figured that one. Alrighty, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I just seen it. It matches the bottom of the blue. Oh. Bottom of the cart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll see you. <clears throat> yeah? Alrighty then. Have a good one, sir. <laughs> We're not done yet, folks. We're gonna hit up some garage sales, so keep watching and stay tuned. Make sure to like and subscribe. All right, ladies and gents, invested $42.62. Good day, everybody. I'm Sunny Las Vegas. I'm about to step into a friend's place who's having a garage sale, yard sale. Um, and he has them quite often, El Omix, Omar. Really good friend. I think I've known him now over a year. And since then, um, I've given him stuff. He's giving me good deals. Some things I don't even bargain for because his prices are just so good. The people that I've brought over to his place have always said, Sonny, oh my, oh my little baby Jesus, he has amazing stuff. I need to come again. And I like to hear that. That's all part of um, what I'm trying to do is uh, connect the dots with things. So let's go over there, try to find some things. Uh, I know my voice sounds, sounds a little uh, off. After we got back from New York, I guess all the excitement and stuff, my body just took a beating from having too much fun, and I'm starting to lose my voice. Um, so hopefully I have it on long enough for this video. Let's, uh, now let's go dive into this garage and these treasures. It's a nice old school bike. Nice beach cruiser. Cosmic bike. These are must be for some lights. Sometimes people put money inside these things, batteries, you know, they are for lights. <clears throat> I have one of these. <clears throat> Precise 7M. <clears throat> These are fun having as a kid. You just throw them around, especially windy days like this. Not too windy, but windy enough. Pillow fort. <laughs> Pillow fort. Got some plushies. 
Omar always has the plushies up in here. Wild replica. So some of these things I'm looking at are for, oh, it's getting windy, so it might not be able to hear me. Voice over time. Oh, is this baby booze? What's up? What's up, friends? This is Chantilly, Chantilly Lane. Oh, look at this cute guy. Oh, kettle toy. I've done very well reselling Care Bear plushes uh, for small sizes like this to larger sizes from vintage to even modern ones on whatnot. So stay tuned. Um, my voice is coming back and I'm going to have a whatnot here in a few days. Check out the link in the description and pinned in the comments. I'm taking this one with me too. Surprised that it even works. This little Red Sox plush, I would really like to have gotten them, but I didn't know what the maker of it, the brand, and it had a lot of fuzzies on the shirt, and I don't really feel like working on things to clean up to resell, so it got to be a lot cleaner, simpler. But this one is a difference. Uh, this is Minecraft. Uh, the change for this is that they do very well on whatnot for me, and knowing more or less Omar's prices, bundling things up, he's gonna make a good chunk of chiching, and so will I. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. What about you? I'm doing well. <clears throat> You're sleeping in? Yeah. Why? Sleeping. What were you tired from? Um, Working school. hard? Yeah, and also school. School? Yeah, yeah school will get you tired. Hey, what's up, Emil? Oh, yeah, and also? What's and also up? Because I also have after school programs. Yeah, like what kind chess, of programs? Chess, chess? and Lego Club. Oh. It, it's called Stanford Club. That's so, cool. so then um, the end of the school year awards, I'm going to get two of those for your clubs. That's awesome, man. I've always liked chess. I was never good, but I, I still always played. Right along the side of the wall, I saw these Marvel characters in the bottom 2012. They seem to be from a set. I was looking some of these up just the other day and found that some vintage ones by 7-Eleven, the store, actually sell for really good money, even individually. Now these, I think they would resell for around $10, but it all depends on your audience to your customer base. Maybe you could get more out of them. I decided to leave them behind, turned around, and from a distance, I could oh, see these. what looked like, what looked like Apple I, uh, MP3. I, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited, even just re-looking at this stuff. It looked like they're, Apple they're iPods. Apple, right? I used to have one, I've sold it. Still, I've sold they're many they're of these for 60 to $150. Even in used condition, the more memory they have, the better. But unfortunately, these weren't Apple. They were, uh, James I guess, third-party type of they probably had um, giveaways, giveaways yeah. that a company made. And it, it came out really nice, but they had their company information on the back. If they're there next time, I would look more into them and see how much Omar's asking. But immediately, somebody after me was looking for it. Going through his apparel, he always comes across quite a bit of items. And I usually find some things that I really like. Not so much of the honey t-shirt, but I do like that ringer style. A lot of total divas out here. And um, at times, I feel like I'm a diva. Um, but it, it's just when I'm in the mood, feeling myself. And I hope you're feeling yourself too, enjoying the video and me and the content. And I hope you're having an excellent time. Looking at this little, I guess, lace kind of uh, knitted. I didn't know the brand of this. I looked it up and they sell for around 15 and I figured, nah, not for me. I'm really wanting a little bit more, maybe around 20. I know $5 is not much, but at the same time, I really want to be comfortable what I bought about what I come across. Las Vegas 51s, be on the lookout for your local major or minor league baseball teams. They could bring in some really good money. I have quite a bit in my own collection. I have several of those in better condition. This shirt, can you guess who it reminds me of and reminds you of? Um, doesn't go for much, around $10. Soon after, another individual picked it up, a lady, and said she was going to customize it to fit her. She's a seamstress and likes to get stuff from Omar. It was really nice hanging out, just looking over things, and people know Omar. Now, in the last video or two or three videos ago, there was a lady, uh, Bing Bing, uh, Mama Bing Bing, 
uh, she said, she asked Omar, do you know Dasani Las Vegas? And he told me he's known her for three years. A lot longer than what we know each other. No, I like the summer a little bit. Oh, summer. Because I want to be at school. Yeah, you want to be at school? That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to go to school so much? I have to play with my friends and learn. Play, play with your friends and learn? That's a that's an awesome answer. Do Doesn't think? that sound like many of us who want to just resell and hang out with friends and learn about all this stuff that helps us make a better living either part-time or full-time i was part-time for four years until i finally stepped away from work a nine to five and just said i'm going all in and that's what i'm doing with my videos now folks as you see i'm giving it a little extra love i really want to do more with it i want to grow my channel but i can't do it without your help it, it's a uh, it's a team effort and it's gonna go it, it's gonna get a lot bigger than what i'll ever dream of and I know this to be true because I believe in it, as I believe in you, as many of you believe in me. So thanks for watching. Digging inside this bin, I find something intriguing. I think it's two in one. I think it's part of a kit. Right above my left thumb right there, that fat little piece, I believe is an axle or maybe even a Springer one. That should be around 35 bucks. But because it's a kit, I think this should go for around 65 bucks. I try to get more information on it and tell you more about it later. Now, if this I don't may end up being that I use for a tip. Brand new with tags, bullocks, harness. It's kind of like a safer, more secure for the body of your pet, more likely a canine. And this is in really good condition. Some of them sell for around 10 bucks. Some of them up to 30. Blue is my favorite color. Being colorblind, it's one of the only colors that really stands out to me. So for those two reasons, I'm getting it. Um, either for tip or for resale, but I think it might be for tip. Looking over in some totes, I find something that I'm surprised Omar didn't get. He loves uh, the Mexican soccer teams, and I forget which is his favorite team, so if he's watching us, let us know. Now, I do know this is gonna be worth a little bit of money, 20 bucks, 20.99 in an auction. I'm pretty sure I could get that, or even up to $30 for it. Looking over on the racks that he has, and again, Omar has quite uh, array of options to choose from if you haven't noticed already so if you're in a neighborhood and if you want to stop by please uh, reach out to me and I'll tell you where to go to legacy this is blood in blood out really good movie I've watched it so many times triple times uh, a dozen times multiply that by another 12 dozen times and that's probably about the amount that I've seen that movie so that should end up bringing around 15 to 20 dollars because of the popularity of it I didn't know if I should get this Leonard Skinner shirt. Maybe I should have for whatnot. And then I come across a Ping shirt. Ping is a really good golf brand. Golf is a really pricey sport. And I've done very well with this brand from performance pants to polo shirts to uh, pullover vests to hoodies, the jackets, you name it. Um, even um, hats, uh, all kinds of stuff. But there is some little nips and that alone, I could uh, use a fabric shaver and removed it. But I figured, dude, um, next time, maybe next time I'll go for it. Uh, dude's a bid. Mikey sold one of these on a whatnot auction. And I've had one before and I sold it on eBay. So because of those two reasons, I'm going to end up picking this as well and add it to the garage hall from here at Omar's. Going through probably 100 t-shirts, I come across another one larry flint's hustler club las vegas with the raiders theme pretty cool rather than a male it's a female with the eye patch which is pretty awesome draft 2020 um i'm pretty particular when it comes to dates on items and i i, I end up putting it back but let me know should i have gotten that would you like to see that in a whatnot auction either one of my own or one with carry american arbitrage Mikey Bags of Money, Jesse from Yesterday's Splits, and Don always joins us too. Um, that Pokemon one, I ended up getting, is that time of the year, folks. That time of the year, I'm a little late to the party, but I have been exercising lately, doing a lot more, more than just cardio. I am exercising. I'm gonna about to get my buff body back. Really excited about it, as well as this hoodie. i pretty sure, pretty positive, 99.9% positive, that this is gonna sell for at least over five bucks, which is what I'm hoping. But again, I have no idea how much I'm going to pay for all this stuff. And it's almost time for me to see what all this is going to come out to of what I've already selected. So let's find out. Oh, uh, put the brakes on that, folks. I forgot. I found something over here and I really want to show you. It's not something that's uncommon for me anymore. 
because many of you know I do love me some lamps and Omar sent me a photo of this and I said I would get it. I, I completely forgot about it at the time I was in New York. I think I had just got there the day of when I got a text message and I'm gonna be walking up to it soon. We got some strollers up here. Everybody's using looking for strollers at a garage sales yard sales and Omar got some too. That's quite a bit of stuff. Um, I ended up helping somebody at, uh, I think it was Maria's niece, uh, who's a friend, local friend, and that bike, I really wanted to get it, but I think this guy named Collins ended up getting it for 10 bucks. Pretty cool, I just don't think I could fit in that with my belly right now. But back to the story, uh, Maria ended up, um, brought her niece over to the reseller cartel event, and they were looking for a stroller, helping get one and found a deal for 20 bucks, compared to somebody else who was trying to sell it for 60. Now this right here, it is a beauty. It is a vintage piece. I'm looking if I have a coin to find if it taps. I got a DM on Instagram saying, Sonny, there's better ways of telling what glass is by looking at certain things on it. And I let them know that I'm partially colorblind and I can't see things as well as other people. Some things, shades work, but sometimes I just go to the method that's easier for me. Usually on these glass pieces, there is either a signature etched in or a little plate either on the solder of the metal framing or a little plate on the inside. And that's what I find. Uh, it's quick quasal, quasal. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it, but that tells me alone the signature name on there. This is going to go anywhere from and this is going to be a wide range of uh, monies right here, anywhere from 80 to 100. And 50 maybe even 170 dollars depending on how I price it and one thing about this i could remove the lampshades from the pieces and just make it easier to ship and i know that's what people cringe on but for me i'm not intimidated folks the more people who are intimidated about shipping things like this make it better for me give me an advantage of getting a better price and i'm talking about the max price possible to get for this how are you i'm doing good how are you Hey Omar, I'm putting the lamp, the lamp shade. Yeah. Why? How much is it? Two, two cervezas, two chelas. Ah, two chelas. Okay. <laughs> Kitchy. That's exactly what I thought this was. Kitchy, cute and something that would be good on what now to make a few bucks on. A little profit goes a long way, especially when it adds up depending on the price that you buy things for. And I think I'm gonna get a good deal. Just uh, stay tuned to find out because this garage sale is almost over. But again, it's not over, keep watching because I end up finding a mother load of some and you won't believe the prices that I buy them for. Keep watching. Ooh, this is a good one. Make sure to sure. like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. My viewers like them. Yeah, huh? My viewers like them. <laughs> I sell them on whatnot and stuff. Oh yeah. So yeah. Was, little like, kitschy stuff. I have a little girl or somebody to give it to my boy. The other one, this sparkly one, has a little heart on the front. Oh, this one? Oh yeah, Those it does. Two that, you have your hand on that is nice. probably has to be charged yeah it's probably been sitting around for a while so the battery dies out a little sometimes that happens yeah i just got a haircut great clips yeah i just got I, a haircut too i i i use a, a great clips coupon yeah i tried them before but my head's not perfect, so it's hard to get a good haircut. You look like you need another haircut. Uh, maybe in another two years. I've been letting it grow out. That's for you. I'm giving you that. What is this? Rusty magazine. Oh, you, you're writing your own magazines? No, I, I wrote down on a piece of paper. Oh, got it. That's all yours. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. So what I thought was a, a nice gift ended up being a list that he's looking for. So who knows? I may be able to find this stuff for him. Okay. 
don't lose those papers. They're valuable, man. Don't lose my information. I won't. I got it in my hand. So, okay. I'll put this in here. I have another one. It's the original color. Yeah, I like that color. I like it a lot. It's like oh. dinosaur scales. That's Kobe's baby. Yeah, it's cool. Save that forever. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All together, I ended up paying $30 for the lamp, the shirts, and the purses, along with the Fox gauge uh, axle right, Omar, and then the happen. harness. So, time. not a bad price. Thank you, Omar. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice, nice day today. Except for the wind. Uh, yeah, for my hair. Yeah. And my Hi. Him or her? Look at him. Boy or girl? Say hi. It's a girl. That's girl. Bella. Hi, she Bella. Likes. Hi, Bella. Bella say hi. hi. Bella. She's a, she's a mama's girl. Aww, she's so cute. <laughs> Her hair is crazy. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of my hair. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi, little corgi. Hi. Hi. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? How you doing, huh? Oh, oh, you're like my dog. My dog always just wants to play. Yeah? Oh, that means your butt's gonna wiggle more when you get older. Yeah. 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 Nine months. My uh, my multipoos. I I've been saying seven years, but he's six years. I'm sorry I aged him. He doesn't know it. Dinosaur bouncing. Alright, I don't know how much that was recorded. So I'm gonna... I had to go get another battery. It's the one thing about GoPros. They could die on you fast. Even if you use them evenly, one is always gonna cut off on you. So they're a good investment to have. I got three of them. And when another one seems to die out a little too fast, I'll order me another set of two or three. <clears throat> so I came over here to these places and I came across some hats that I was blown away with. And you won't believe the price. I'll tell you when I get home. Wow. And then still seeing seeing a rings or bracelets today. And what happened? I didn't see no rings or bracelets. How much is this right here? Two. It, lo it looks old. I like how old it yeah. looks. Yeah. I bought a Amazon Media Console for three bucks. Right up here. You missed it. Look at you. You're showing off your money. You try to be a billionaire like me. No, these are all ones. <laughs> I dance for these ones. Uh, 22. Make, Thank you. Make sure it's there. Thank you. You're showing off to me. You're making a lot of money. No, I don't make a lot of money. Thank you. We didn't find those first magazines. Sell three no. for like five dollars. Okay, five hundred. No, $5. No, 500, 500 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm looking for you, I got to make some money off of it. I was so excited about these hats. I was looking them up in a truck, but only looked up two of them. Hat was made and it's still running the company here in Las Vegas. D Bar J hats here in Las Vegas. They have quite a pricey amount of hats. They make really good work is what that tells me. I looked in their clearance section on the website and it starts off the first five items that I saw were like at starting at 480, 450, 
they are pricey hats. So that tells me this hat is pricey. One thing I don't know about it is the size. It got ripped off right on the inside. Maybe I could just go up to the company and ask them more about this and they'll be able to give me more information so I could share it when I list it on eBay. Hope I get $100 or more. I maybe even get more. I haven't looked up comps or listings on eBay yet. Looking at the website, I'm gonna make a pretty good profit, but I got information to find out about it. Mothos or mothworms, larva. Um, this one has some bites that are in here. I did get a message a while back out of all places on eBay with some hats that I have from the 70s that are listed. And I mentioned that they were little burn marks uh, that sizzled through and made little holes and a person educated me on them that moths often land on these and spread their little young ends and they go around eating some stuff and then that how that happens. So little things like this doesn't scare me away from profits, especially when you're buying hats from resist all brands like this one. This one does have a five times beaver felt. It's hard to see, but it's right there. That information of five times, 10 times, a hundred times. Every time it goes up higher, that's how much times more you can make even that much times more monies. Carrying on. Now this one does have a little bit of wear to it where the person wearing it on their hat, it got a little staining, a little dirty, a little bit of markings where people grab it. Not a big thing. You could brush this stuff off. It's really light. And on the top, $5. I think I could make around $25 for this. Although I'm going to have the price listed up at around $49.99. This hat right here, I have not found the style of this. And sometimes these hats are formed up to be rounded, right? You could wear it this way. You could shape it up yourself. Self-conforming. Um, you can manipulate the, the design of it if you want, but this one has been shaped just slightly enough to where I could pop it up like that. So if somebody wanted to wear this, I believe this is a seven and nine eight by Beaver Hat Company. I have not done well with the vintage Beaver Hat Company at all, folks, at all. Even marking it down like crazy low prices had not done well. The newer stuff I have seen do very well. This hat right here is a five times genuine fine fur difference between the other one that i just mentioned they mentioned exactly the style of fur of a beaver all right this one is a, maybe a mix of first but a really good condition nice shape and i believe this is a seven and nine eights i do like this hat I really do like this hat i like the way it looks on me right here so this may just be a keeper nah i gotta sell it folks i can't keep keeping on i can't keep keeping stuff so say that five times fast record it and share it with me so this right here alone five dollars should get me around 40 to 50 dollars really good condition really good shape and i believe it's a seven and nine eighths or maybe just maybe a seven and a half because of my hair but really nice shape nothing wrong with that one at all in near new condition now this one um not intentionally save the best for last but this is one when i looked up the name it's hard to see inside here churchill like winston churchill this beauty right here i thought was gonna be hundreds of dollars and resale value when i saw these two things right here boy ah. so when i saw that i was like oh man i'm gonna at least get 300 dollars for this hoping right you can get price things as much and as high as they want doesn't mean it's gonna sell for that price but a lot of time it does when people know what they're talking about and looking into researching and evaluating everything to make it that price some people don't budge some people do now this for five dollars it's not going to sell for hundreds and it may sell for more around 60 to 70, maybe even 80 if the size is different than the one that I saw listed. That also depends. I say that because the hats that are listed, if you see the same thing, uh, different hat, if you see the same thing of hats, but they're different sizes, there's definitely a different matter in prices, especially when there's only one other one listed like this. So who knows? Maybe I'll price it at 100 just to see if I get an offer, an offer for 60, I'll take it. But who knows? I might just get somebody that's looking for it, waiting for their hat size and say, you know what? I've been waiting for this so long. I'm just going to buy it now. And I hope they do right away. I need to make a lot of money. I got goals. I got trips to take. Flipcon, I'm coming for you. And with that, I need to make some sales. I'm getting stuff listed now to get everything else listed. And now for you to enjoy somebody else, if you haven't already checked me out, my previous videos, go and run the playlist. Drop some comments down below. I appreciate you all very much. I am getting my voice back. I like the way this sounds. It sounds a little manly. And I could, I could use a little bit more of that. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time because there's more. Always going to be more. As long as you're there supporting me, 
I appreciate you and I'll be here for you too.